Kira died back then. <laughs> yep. Game on Callista, and he played it well already, getting those oh, Sentinels wow. out there. That Look, is he's actually beautiful. in between the Sentinels. He missed the vision. What? They didn't see him. Bengi. Wow. That is awesome. That is a sneaky Nunu right there, man. The Sentinel's coming in. He goes for the Red Seal immediately. He has Smite. He's going to get it. So looks like or Lee may he? be getting Red Buff. Yeah, he's got Smite consumed. He does have it. And you know what? He's not even going to be seen. Nope, just going to sneak it behind it. <laughs> oh, he's just going to eat it on his way out. Bangy. Oh, you know kill per game average. 5.5 KDA. Pretty massive stuff. G Tiger's throw though, 80% on the cast and not doing too shabby at all. We've seen that in the past. It looks like Lee tries to make a gankier Faker walking right into it. It's gonna get knocked up. Faker in a little bit of trouble. Passive popped already. Going back into the river. Kuro finally Wrong figures one. out that it's him. Can Faker get away? Bengi coming in with the snowball. Looks like he can. Close call for Faker, but he didn't need to use any summoners. Meanwhile, the jungle as well to make it a bit safer, but Faker could join them. Bengi's gonna get that red buff. Kuro there as well. Bengi in big trouble flashing over the wall, but Lee flashes well. Faker comes in to protect him, and there we go. Bengi escapes with the double buffs. Faker helping out his jungler. Meanwhile, Smeb comes in. They're gonna clean up the rest of them. And I like that. Okay. Oh, there's some damage coming in from Faker now. The W does more. Yeah, Kuro has to be careful. There's yeah. a Codex already onto Faker. Yep. Faker's getting pretty close to that Morella Namakon. Well, Faker still wants to do some damage. Sticking with Kuro to get that W to land. Oh, there's a death sentence from Pikaboo. Play, and they're going to keep Kuro around. No summoners, and it's going to be a kill. Faker with the first blood, and it looks like everyone's going to escape. They have to disengage. Smab right there does not have that equalizer anymore. Wasn't able to lock anyone down long enough, and man, Faker getting it with the 8 Smith has flash and equalize right now. Don't think if he stays well, he's gonna try to go in here, Faker. No. Yeah. Marin missed his ult after the flash. Smeb ulting as well. Smeb now using his equalizer to clear out the wave. Faker coming back around. In. It's try number two. Smeb could be in trouble. Smeb going back into the turret gets flayed away. Marin tanking that. He might go down. In fact, I think he probably will. Oh, gets away. One turret hit would have finished him off. Another successful gank for SK Telecom and another Tonight, kill. Overall, uh, not only on this stretch, but in Morgana in game oh. one. Pikaboo's right there. Yes, he is. Oh, all used. They're going to try to get banged. Can't quite connect the with them, patience. though. Oh, and now Gorilla brought into the box and talk about the outplays. Prey trying to get away. Can he make it? Doesn't even matter. They don't need that kill. They got Gorilla Need already. Time or or uh, well, like Thief 2 or something like that. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. That's true. <laughs> These are probably all games b before his time, but close enough. Baker. And a little bit of trouble. Smep doing a lot of damage. Faker, can he escape? Yes, he can. And Bengi gets that kill. Is Faker in trouble, though? Uh, is he? I don't think he's ever. Blue buff, so they're going to wait for that second charge. Marin also needs to get his Narbar up a little higher before they can do this. He's trying to get it on the minion wave. Smep oh there. Here comes the TP. Teleport coming in for Marin. That's right. He does quite have mini Nari, but yeah, there, Pikachu comes in. Equalizer goes out, big cataclysm as well. They get Prey right away, though. Two kills coming in. Well, they can't do the this GD without the Tigers. His, can't do this without yeah, Smite. They need Bengi. So they're gonna have to turn their attention elsewhere. Maybe they'll go for the mid lane tier one. With Prey gone, though. All right, they will go for mid lane. They can give up this dragon. Well, they're still threatening. Oh, yeah, GE Tigers oh, back trying to catch up to Faker in terms of his. Farm. Oh, the pick on the Gorilla gets hit with the death sentence, but pulled away by Prey. And it looks like they'll be just fine. Meanwhile, some pressure in the mid lane now. They've drawn everyone up to top lane. They're going to try to get Marin. Gets ulted against the wall. A kill for Marin. They might still get him, but Faker is going to escape. Marin trying to live. Misses with that Q. And they'll give up the top laner, but another kill. Oh, another assist, rather, for Faker. Oh, and, that. A, and a kill for a kill. So yeah. SK Telecom coming out unequivocally ahead in that little trade. Bengi is uh, playing with Callista. Well, he, he's full of arrows, or full of spears. He's full of something. And Prey gets hit with that snowball. Faker, he's trying to dodge around. He can get away from those skill shots, but he can't <laughs> dodge a snowball. He can dodge a skill shot, but he can't dodge a ball, I guess. It's kind of the opposite of choice in this particular game. Yes, oh. I understand that. Here we go. 
They're going to go in on the Faker and Pickaboo. There's some box as well. Pickaboo getting blown up immediately. And there's Bengi slowing down some members. Faker tangling with Kuro and Lee in the back lines. Faker with the kill. They lost Pickaboo fast, but the kill's coming in now. OG Tigers. Kuro trying to turn this one around, but eventually gets taken down. Marin being a big threat in the back lines. A double kill for Bang. And Bray manages to grab Gorilla, get him to safety, but it is a big win for SK Telecom, and it's going to be an what easy. What he's going to do when he finishes that Void Staff. I think he gets it by Dark Finding. Well, can he get out of the lantern? You bet he can, Gorilla. Yeah. Tries to follow up. Yeah. Well, you have to remember that his most unfortunate victims on MVP Blue, which turned into Samsung Blue, oh, are now Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, still pretty good. Yeah, that yeah doesn't need scary. that DFG. Yeah. Bye, Gorilla. Yeah. Through the Black Shield, yeah. too. Oh. Up. A little bit right, damage on the Faker kill Gorilla here. Does he need the ignite? Uh, the survey says. Okay, so no, no, no definitely. Everybody not. joining. Easy Baron, Presque Telecom. It's really been kind of an easy everything for them this game. Sentinel sees it, but all it can do is scream. Oh boy! And uh, wow, it looks like uh, Lee's just gonna go right in there, trap some in the Cataclysm. Doesn't end up That's doing a, a whole lot though. Miss. Yep. Getting over the equalizer quite easily Marvel. thanks to the Lutely headbutt it. Baker looking right. for Bray. Whoa! Missed Bray! If, it, if he had hit the chain, he would have died. It would be incredible if he could hit all those skill shots on a Kalista. <laughs> and he nearly did it too. Thinks Faker does. Equalizer comes through. Marn taking a lot of damage. Lee comes in with the Cataclysm. Faker comes in and lights him up though. Bengi or Smeb rather going to go down. Kuro manages to get the kill on Marin though. Smep dies in the meantime. Pickaboo locked up by that Dark Binding. Prey hopping all over, avoiding these skill shots. Can Faker finally finish him off? He's going in with the clone. The clone will not finish off Prey. <laughs> <laughs> that is a pretty quick hit there, though. Now Marin's very annoying. Oh, well, uh, apparently Faker killed Gorilla again. What the? Where did he even go? <laughs> Wherever he wants to, man. He just came in and evaporated him. So we go. Peekaboo, I did not even see Gorilla die here. Me neither. Okay, there's one Q, two Q. He died in two Qs! What? what? Q, Q, man. Again, Crucible. Also does give him a bit of MR. Yeah. Uh, Baker, he's going to try to take out Lee. Nearly does. Benki. Zoning a bit gets caught by that Dark Binding. Operation Save Bengi is underway. Faker goes in. He will use that zone. He is Bengi doing a lot, or Bang doing a lot of damage on the outside. Faker escapes with the passive and SKT on the way out. Marin still pressuring this inhibitor though. There's a lantern to give him that shield that allows them to take out the third inhibitor. And just like that, wow. SKT. You know, I think the champions that relied on DFG need a bit of a buff. <laughs> You know, to, uh, to try to compensate for the loss of burst damage that they get. I'm particularly worried about LeBlanc. <laughs> Man, good stuff. Uh oh, though. Kuro! Gets away. Black Shield helping out there, and Ignite not able to finish him off through that. Meanwhile, SKT is like, all right, time for Baron. And then it will be Dragon number five for SK Telecom. Unless they feel like sending the game. Either way, I see you go for the fifth dragon here. Get the style points. Yeah, that's right. That's right. See how fast Faker can explode people with even more damage? That would be awesome. The pink ward baits. Oh, here he goes again, and Gorilla. Oh, managed to dodge a bit there. Faker didn't use, well, he used uh, W, or his uh, Deceive uh, twice. Well, he's got to be careful. He's going 1v5 now. There's the fifth dragon, though. Faker versus the world here. And we'll see if he can get a pentakill. Wouldn't that be something? I want to see how much AP he has. Uh, a lot. Comes in. Drops the damages on Genie Tigers. Equalizer comes down. Can they follow it up? Marin coming in. He used that teleport to get close. Pickaboo pops a box on Kuro there. Nice zone by Bengi to allow them to take that. And there it is. The Nexus gone. There knows the surrender. GE Tigers just gives it up. <laughs> wow. And SK Telecom crushes the GE Tigers in game two. Just completely destroys them. You do not give Faker LeBlanc. Yeah. Absolutely nuts. G, uh, G At the Tigers, end of that game, man. Faker did. 31,500 champion damage. The next closest person was Smeb at 17,000. Yeah. So, huge difference. Even Bang only did 14. Can you go 6-0 in...
brother Let's call it in the crossfire <laughs>